Hi everyone, it's Amar Khan. So in today's video, we will create this effect and you can download this from my Patreon. I have already given the link in the description. So here's our emergent default scene. I have already deleted all the extra node that comes with default scene. So here's our simulation node or here's the character that I have already imported. You can import any character or any object by just go to right click, select import and choose your file path and that's it. Choose any, any file, any 3D model, it's up to you. Now go to simulation, we have domain we have to expand domain as per our requirement. So I'm using, I guess, 300 by 200 by 50 because we don't need much height this time. You can see our bounding box is ready now. Now we, we have to add some emitters. Choose an emitter volume because we need a smoke shape. Select permitive and choose box and 0.5 height. Now increase. Now we have our permitive. Now go to emitter volume and emission. This is a fuel emission. We don't need fire. So no emission we need smoke only so 200 percent that will be plenty now r spacebar now you, we have set the environment but at the moment there is no force there is no movement so for that go to force drag node and choose force line force direction at the moment is upward so we need downward we can do it by two ways first is go to minus force or go to transform and rotate it i'll go with minus force minus 200 now i'm adding some repel now you can see spacebar now i've already done our man part now we have to add just keyframes to our animation go to force line there's a force activity so we can on and off as per our requirement check this and here is our character now here i want to start the force and here i want to end the force so for that i have enabled it and now i'm disabling it and that's it now you can see our spacebar now our animation is ready. Now we can change the smoke color. So for changing the color of a smoke, we have to go to shading. There is smoke tab. There is color ramp option. We have to change it into exposed color gradient. Now you can add this color gradient into smoke 2 and change the color of your gradient. It's up to you. Or you can copy this control C and control V. Now connect this to smoke and change your color from here. It's up totally up to you what color you need what you want but at the moment i don't need it that that color i need black only so now i have to add some more effect so it, it should look more interesting or engaging i guess now go to emitter drag it choose emitter volume now this time we need only fire and fire should come from our character so for that we have to add to geometry and connect it with the shape go to emission here is the emission tab you can use it as it is we don't have to change anything just replace it with no emission we don't need any smoke we need only fire from character now we have to add force line as well so for that we can connect this force line into this emitter now press r and space bar now have a look so here is our final simulation you can download the source file from my patreon i have already given the link in the description please support me on patreon so i can provide you free content on youtube if you have any query any comment or if you want to give me any suggestion please feel free to comment i'll be happy to follow thank you